In this tutorial video, we'll be looking at maximum flow. Key points we're looking at is maximum flow via inspection and then some worked examples. So let's look at our first example. The following figure represents the maximum fla traffic flow per hour along five sections of road A, B, C, D and E. The task we have is to find the maximum traffic flow from start to finish along roads D and E. So, Road D can travel up to 500 vehicles per hour and it flows directly into Road E. However, Road E can only travel 150 vehicles per hour. This might, for example, be a, a double or a triple lane that merges into a single lane. Now, accordingly, the maximum flow we can get from the start to finish following the roads D and E is 150. It doesn't matter if we have 500 vehicles travelling along section D. Once it hits section E, it's restricted to 150. We're going to have one heck of a good build up in terms of backlog of traffic with a traffic jam. So this minimum value from D to E of 150 is in fact our restricting or maximum traffic flow from sections D to section Z. Okay, a new road F is now built with a capacity of further 500 cars and that allows us to bypass road E. The task now is to find the maximum traffic flow from start to finish along any of the roads. So let's consider the options. We could flow from road A to B to C as shown in the green, in which case we're restricted by the lowest value of 300 vehicles. If only 300 can go along section A, then despite the fact that B, road B can handle 600 vehicles and in fact C can handle 800, we're restricted by 300 in road A. So A, B and C has a maximum flow of 300 cars. Likewise, if we go from D through F through to C, 500 can flow on road D and all of those continue on road, road F and road C can has a capacity of 800. So we're restricted by the 500, the two minimum values. So roads D, F and C have a maximum flow of 500. E has a maximum flow of 150 cars. However, of the 500, if 150 came here along road E, then you'd only be left with 350 in road F, which is important for our next consideration. So by inspection, if we combine A and B, which have a maximum flow of 300 when they hit road C, and D and F, which also have a maximum flow of 500 by the time they hit road C, they can both be combined, the 300 and the 500, to show combining that road C has a maximum flow of 800 vehicles. A second example, we're looking at the flights connecting Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, Adelaide and Canberra and the maximum number of passengers that can be carried at this time. So the task is to find the maximum number of passengers that can be carried between Sydney, which is over here on our left, and Adelaide on the right. So let's look at some of the options available. First option, you can go from Sydney to Adelaide via Brisbane, and that's restricted by the Sydney to Brisbane flight of 700 passengers, despite the fact that the flight from Brisbane to Adelaide can hold a capacity of 1,000. We're restricted by the 700 that get on in Sydney and fly to Brisbane. So that's got a maximum flow of 700. By inspection, you can see you can go from Sydney to Canberra to Adelaide. Now, whilst 1,500 can get on from Sydney and fly to Canberra, only 400 can fly from Canberra to Adelaide. So that restricts that particular path from Sydney to Canberra to Adelaide to a maximum flow of 400 people. Likewise, we can go from Sydney to Melbourne to Canberra and Adelaide. Sounds a little bit zigzaggy, but it's one of the connections. 1,200 can get on from Sydney and fly to Melbourne. Only 600 from Melbourne to Canberra, but again, we have a restriction of 400 passengers from Canberra to Adelaide. So this particular purple path has a maximum flow of 400 people. Finally, you can go from Sydney to Melbourne to Adelaide. 1,200 from Sydney to Melbourne, but we're restricted once again from Melbourne to Adelaide by 600. It has a maximum flow of 600 people. When we put this together, we can see the maximum flow from Sydney to Adelaide via all possible combinations is 700 passengers plus 400 plus 600. It gives the total maximum flow of 1,700 passengers in any one particular day from Sydney to Adelaide. Once again, I hope this tutorial video 
has been of use and it's giving you some insight into how we can calculate the maximum flow of a network simply by inspection. For a more reliable method, please consider the minimum cut maximum flow in another one of my videos. Thank you for viewing.